What is up, it is me, Nicklean, today we're doing Spoke 1 TCG Online. So today, I am using a Bisharp deck. So, this particular Bisharp is indeed very strong. It came out as Radiance, and that first attack, just for one energy, 30 more damage, for each damage counter on all your bench poniard. Now, this actually is very strong, because there's this card right here, Old Cemetery, that whenever you attach an energy card from your hand when you're not psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, Ponyard is a non-psychic Pokemon, so we can just, by attaching energy to it, to it, get damage counters on it. But, you can build up a crazy amount of damage counters using Cherum to attach a bunch of grass energy to those Ponyards, and then just, will plow with Vengeful Cut to pretty much Oko V-Maxes. So I am using the Burl Engine, um, and then we also want to play Mana Feet because our Ponyards are going to take a lot of damage, um, and we don't want them to get G-Max Rapid Float. Uh, then I also have Miltank with Miracle Body to counter some Vs, um, because, you know, some decks just don't tuck for that. Then, uh, we got Battle VIP to fill up our bench. We got Energy Retrieval to get some Energy back from our discard pile, because a lot will end up being discarded. Energy Search, so we can find our energy when we need it sometimes. Um, then we have Evo to get our Pisharps and Bidoofs and Cherums, and Quick Ball to get our Ponyards and Bidoofs and Cherubis. Um, Rescue Carrier, so we can just put Ponyards right back into our hands if they get knocked out. Um, Cape of Toughness, give those Ponyards more health, so we can put more damage counters on them. Choice Spell to increase our damage. Um, and I have a Cynthia's Ambition, because a lot of our Pokemon will be getting knocked out in this. Um, and this deck doesn't need so much energy acceleration that it needs Raihan, uh, so I just decided to play Cynthia's Ambition instead. Then put only 4 Metal Energy, just so we can get the attack cost. But then 8 Grass Energy, so we can attach with Cherum. So, yeah, that is pretty much what we are playing today. Um, so, hope you're all psyched up, and here we go. So we are going to go ahead and win the coin flip, and I think with this deck, it probably would be better to go first, just so we could get our Bisharps evolved um, on our second turn, and we're able to attack with them like that quickly, and get the head start on your opponent. So, yeah. So, uh, we'll put a, I guess, a Ponyard down the active. And I'll put a Ponyard in the bench. Truby on the bench, and yeah. Okay, we have a Quick Ball, which I think I guess I can go ahead and use. I uh, guess we can discard a Grass Energy. And then with that, I'll grab a Bidoof. I'll put that on the bench, and then I guess I'll end my turn. Alright, so now we are kind of in a top deck mode. Um, that we, no, we aren't really, because we can evolve into the Bisharp, and then we have Yulu and Sins to get a Bidoof, to get a Bivarel, and be able to draw a lot of cards with that. But this guy's going to end up using Razor, laser Focus. Um, yeah, we are playing against Single Strike Urshifu here. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this will be good. Okay, so we have two Evos now, which is actually quite good for us, because we can get it's one of them to get a Sherem. Um, nice, and we can use the other to get a Bivarel. Sorry if we're lagging a little bit here. Using Dust Race Incisors. Okay. Um, Alright, so I guess I can put this down. We can use an E Search. I'll grab a Metal Energy. Okay, and then we can use. Here we can do this. Nice, we get an ill tank. And, uh, no damage counters in those Ponyards yet, which kind of stinks for us. So, uh, yeah. Cause we, and we also don't have Old Cemetery down, so this kind of... That's not very good. <laughs> we do have Professors for next hand, we do have more Ponyards, so we're alright. Alright. So yeah, next turn... Um, oh, he is going to boss up our Bibarel, which actually... Is kind of crippling, but it's fine, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that was a very smart decision on his end, but that means our Bisharp does survive, which is nice. Um, but we have an old cemetery finally, really glad. Um, so then I can use Spring Bloom, attach there. Okay, um, 
and yeah. Now, we can go ahead and use Professor's. Nice, more grass energy. Uh, so we can use Spring Bloom. We'll put one there. Can use this and put one there. Okay, then I'm going to put another one there. Okay. And... Alright, we can go ahead and... Gain Quick Ball. And... I guess we'll discard this. I'll grab a Bidoof. Then we can use Vengeful Cut. I don't think this is a knockout. Oh, apparently it is. <laughs> wow. Uh, I was not expecting that much damage. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that was a lot of damage there. I was not expecting that much damage. Okay, I, I should have added that up, but uh, that was crazy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and a quick while he's probably gonna want to grab himself another Urshifu um, or an Umbreon V, maybe. He might want to end up getting that powered up instead. Then he can use Dark Signal to KO my Sherum. Yeah. Oh, you're actually going to get a probably a bit smarter for decision, I guess. <laughs> Let him get more set up. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think that we're probably going to want to be evolving into a bit around next turn. We'll attach a matter of energy to build up some damage counters. Um, except that if we attach another energy, that means our pollen units will be getting KO'd. So we would like to get a Cape of Toughness, probably. Yeah. But he's gonna Marnie us. Which means I was gonna end up Professor Zing. Maybe we can still get some good draws. Hopefully. Um, yeah, that's not good. Okay. So that means for now we're just gonna have to be in top attack mode. I mean, right now we do have enough damage to be able to KO his Houndoom, Crowbat V, and Houndor, but... If he gets, like, uh, V-Max up, we need a Cape of Deafness. All he's able to grab is another Hound Hour. So, uh, yeah, he's not, he's not looking too good right now. Air Balloon, okay. I'm guessing he's gonna want to retreat out of there so we can, so we don't knock out his Hound Doom. Yes, the Crowbat. So he's gonna give us the two-prize knockout, which I'm actually kind of happy about. Um, okay. Um... Alright, I don't want to attach another energy to my Ponyards because it will end up knocking it out. So, uh, yeah, we just have to go for Vengeful Cut. Okay. Okay. Um, still not the best draws there. Uh, I really would like a Cave for Toughness just so we can majorly increase our DPS output um, at this point. Uh, but I really, it's fine. Might want to end up playing a couple more Cape of Toughness actually now. Um, but we have another boss in the deck, so we can possibly boss up as Urshifu if we draw it, which would be nice. Yes, okay. So then he's going to be using Laser Focus. Or Single Strike Roar, probably, yeah. If he gets another Hound Doom, then he can single strike short and knock out our Bisharp. Um, and then we don't really have another way to get up another Bisharp, and we just have to use Mill Tank. But he's Marnieing, which I'm actually kind of happy about. Um, yeah. Now I'm a little sad because it would let us instantly set up our Mill Tank for the stuff we have now. But we do draw another Bisharp, which is really what we want. And a boss. Okay, Tower of Darkness. Let's see. Have some energy here. Okay, good. Because then we'll be able to spring bloom, get more damage counters under Pollen Yards, and KO this. Alright, so we will be able to impact blow us. Okay, we'll bring up this one. Use this.
Oh, right, I don't have my, uh, whatever it is, you know, the, um, uh, old cemetery. Yeah, okay, so I need Marnie first. Okay, no, we don't get it, but we do get a cape of toughness, uh, which is not an old cemetery. But uh, he concedes. Um, I'm not sure quite how much damage we've done there. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think, yeah, we wouldn't have knocked him out at that point. Um, but he still conceded, and we still got Galarian Moltres V here, which is a pretty nice prize. I do see this myself. Nice. Call heads. Yes, we will go first. Okay, we get a Ponyard to start. Nice. Very nice. And two quick balls. I love that. And an old cemetery. I really like that. Okay, so we can go ahead, we can put an old cemetery down. Um, we can use Quick Ball. Discard this. We can find ourselves a Bidoof. And then we can under turn. Okay, so next time I'm going to evolve this dude into a Sherum. Then we'll use this to get a out and then we will use industrious incisors to draw some cards hopefully we'll get crypt ball to get more ponyard yeah so uh looks to me like this guy is either playing inteleon v max or rapid strike urshifu yeah either one i think we have a chance of beating but uh obviously rapid strike urshifu would be a little bit more annoying um well actually no inteleon would probably be more annoying because i had more spreading because it because it could easily knock out our uh Upon yours better, but he does not seem to be doing very good right now, which I love. Yeah, okay. So he's Evo Illusion Incense. He's Burrell. Now we go Industrious. Nice, we get a Professor's. I'll put this down. Um, we can use this. Let's card this. Um, and just in case, I will grab a Manaphy. I guess actually grabbing another Ponyard would be nice. Whatever, though. We can use Professor's to hopefully get that. Okay. Nice. We got a Ponyard. I'll attach this. Okay. And, uh... Wait. Uh, yes, we haven't evolved yet. <laughs> okay. Um, so we don't have many damage counters on our benched Ponyard yet. Which is a little sad. But, uh, we can still use Vindral Cup for 30. Yeah, if we had just one damage counter, we would have KO'd the Sobble. But it's fine. It's whatever. But I wanted to put this Manaphy down just in case it is Rapid Strike Urshifu. Make sure that we're making the right choice. Um, but I guess we'll see with this Drizzile. Let's see. So what is he going to get with the Drizzile? Another Evo Prifer, either an Octillery or another Drizzile. I'm guessing another Drizzile. No, it's Octillery. Okay. So we'll see what he decides to grab now with all these things he's using. Okay, interesting choice to evolve the Sobble and the Active, because I'm obviously going to knock this one out. He probably should evolve one on the bench so we can tell you on. But whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're hoping that next turn we can... Use double industrious incisors to get just about everything we need to get some more damage counters in our benched ponyard. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're trying to do. Okay, quick ball. And he's gonna scoop up his Drizzile, bring up probably the other Sobble, maybe, I'm guessing. So we'll see what he gets with the quick ball, though. Uh, if he's playing Italian V Max, he might be playing a Sylveon deck. That is possible. Um, but you'd probably see a Crobat V already if he was. I don't know. Either way, he doesn't seem to be doing quite good. But quick ball. We'll see. Cheryl. Interesting. Um, I'm guessing this is Italian V Max. Then yes. Okay. All right. So that is <laughs> more annoying to us. And now I probably didn't really need to put down the Mana Fee um, because it bypasses its wave veil effect because it doesn't actually put damage on it, it just puts damage counters, which doesn't count. But it's okay, because uh, we still have a chance to do some stuff here, do some work. Um, 
and hopefully we can build up some nice damage on this bench poniard and do a lot of damage to his Inteleon. Yeah. Path to the peak, I don't really care about. Um, it's just kind of annoying because it means we need to put down this old cemetery. Which actually is nice because it'll help us thin our hand out for industrious incisors. But I'm actually confused. Why would you play Path of the Peak in a deck like this? You, uh, that kind of gets rid of his VMAX's ability. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and the VMAX ability is what would hurt us most, actually. But, uh, I need to put down the old Samurai to do damage, or else I would just let him leave this Path of the Peak and play and hurt himself. But, whatever. I'm just gonna use Karina's Focus now. Alright, interesting, he's not going to thin his hand out anymore. Just using it as a hop, pretty much. Gets another stop out, okay. So yeah, our best thing to get with the double industrious synthesizers next turn. Um, or this turn, I guess. Um, alright, so. We are going to want to Evo Incense. We'll grab another industrious. We'll evolve. We do have another Ponyard in hand, which I wish I could use. But, uh... Unfortunately, we're going to have to use Industrious Incisors just to draw two cards. Um, not the best one possible, but, uh, yeah, okay. We're still kind of deadlocked here. Uh, not much we can do, so, yeah, this ain't looking great for us. So I guess we're just going to have to let him knock us out next turn, and we'll just keep using Visual Cut for 30. <laughs> Because if we can knock us out next turn, then we can see this mission and get a lot of cards. And we have another Bisharp and another Ponyard in hand. And hopefully we can do well. But yeah, I'm kind of actually praying for him to knock me out, which is weird. I know. Okay. And you guys see will knock me out. Yeah. But right now, Double Gunner is going to, uh... He's going to knock... Uh, no, no, okay, no, not knock us out. No, Double Gunner is going to work this time, actually, because he doesn't have no path to the peak and play. Um... So, yeah. But he is putting more damage counters on this, making it just a bit easier for us to knock him out. But GMAX Pile, he's going to need to discard an energy. Um, yep. Okay, so we'll bring up this Pioneer now. Okay, and nice. Now we actually have Spring Bloom that we can use. And first, I'll go ahead and use Cynthia's Ambition. Nice, we can use more Spring Blooms. Um, we can only use one more, actually, before we knock out a Ponyard. Yeah, we want to get a... We really would like to get a... Oh, wait, I can't attach this for some reason. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have attached the Energy per turn. That was not a good idea. Bro, why you gotta be so mean to me? <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of sad. Yeah, I shouldn't have made that mistake. That was a really stupid mistake now. I'm... Um, wow. Wow. I'm, I feel stupid. Okay. It's fine! Because he can just KO our Pioneer now. Um, yeah. So I'm screwed. Pretty much. Completely. But, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, call heads. Fortunately, I'm going to lose the coin flip. And it's my turn. Nice. Okay, we do get a mail tank to start, which is an okay start in my book. All right, I'll take that. Nice this is a nice Shadow Rider. Oops, Shadow Rider. <laughs> Not Ice Rider. <laughs> I don't know why I said Ice Rider, but uh, we can quick ball discard that. Um, I'll go find myself Ponyard. Put that down, um, and I guess we can attach there. Um, and Old Center Material would help him out, so I'm not going to put it down yet. Yeah, I'm not going to put that down, because I would like to also Stadium Pump him, if I can, that'd be nice. But, uh, yeah, so next turn, <laughs> we have an Energy Search, just so we can guess his route, but, uh, that's pretty much all we got going for us at this point. Um, maybe it would have been slightly more you could have to grab Bidoof instead of a Ponyard. But, uh, it's okay. 
it is okay. But, actually that Shadow Mist is kind of annoying because it means we cannot play Old Cemetery down. Um, if that's what he ends up using this here turn, which I don't know if he will. Okay, Cruel Charge to get this energy in play, and he's going to be able to Shadow Mist us, which is kind of annoying. Evo Incense. I'm grabbing a VMAX. Nice, we can Marnie him for that. Well, we don't have Marnie, but you know what I mean, if we get one. Okay, yep. Yeah, so we're going to be energy searching, trying to route. Uh, which won't do a ton of damage unless he gets more Pokemon on this bench right now. But uh, I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Because we can't even place down the old cemetery at this point. And Shadow Mist, which does no damage. Oh, right! <laughs> I was like very confused there for a second. Alright, Evolve, nice. Um, we don't really need to put down a Manaphy for this match, but we can energy search and grab ourselves. There's a, gra a Steel Energy. Now we can use Route. Which isn't gonna do too much damage. But it's whatever. Because right now it can't even hurt us. <laughs> Our mill tank. Yeah. That's funny. And he can just let us slowly get set up. Alright, there's a VMAX. He pretty much needs a boss if he wants to do any damage, but then even then, if he bosses this up, he's we can't do anything else because he can't boss anything else. Well he guess he could side laser, which is his chance right now. He can silence the rest of the GR Kuno, um, and that would KO the mill tank. But he probably doesn't want to be tagging with Psy Laser because it's going to make him get rid of some cards. Interesting, he's playing with his Huey, with his, he's playing this with his Huey and Typhlosion V. I do not why, I do not know why I could not speak right there. That was odd. Um, but then, wow, that's a pretty lucky professor he's got going on. Wow. <laughs> okay, nice for him. I wish I had that card right now. That'd be a big help. But it's whatever. Okay, great ball. And there's another Shadow Rider. So then Route will be doing even more damage. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Will he be able to use Under Roll Adoro? Yes, he will. Okay. Max Dykeist will do absolutely zero damage. Glad to hear it. Yes, please let me do more damage without. I love that. Unless he is about to knock me out with Psy Laser, which I would not be happy about. Okay, yep, he's probably gonna go first. Nope, no Psy Laser. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, just Singe. Uh, that was actually smart, because now it can do damage with, to me. But uh, the burn, I think, does not go away at this point, which I'm sad about. But I'll put this down. Um, I'll put Manaphy down just to counteract his Psy Laser if he tries to use that. Um, Battle of VIP came in, uh, coming in just a little bit late, buddy. <laughs> okay, now we can e search. I'll grab another a steel energy. Okay, and we can route. Hopefully, the burn effect will go away now. Heads, nice. It's gone. Alright, there's another Shadow Rider. Yeah, things aren't looking too good for us right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need more Ponyards and we need Cherubs. We are in top deck mode right now, ladies and gentlemen. Which I don't like, but it's what it is, you know. Okay. What's this even do? Okay, it's kind of like a mini Mal of our VMAX Petrifying Flame. Interesting, okay. Um, yeah, so I built a, Su a Sui and Typhlosion deck. Um, honestly, probably using a Shadow Rider engine probably actually would make it a lot better. Um, but I did not choose to do that. Um, okay, do get another Professor's, which is nice. But, uh, 
don't know why I'd want to put more damage on that. Yeah, I guess we have to get rid of both of our bosses. Yeah, that's that's kind of have to do that, the professors. I don't like it, but it's kind of I have to if I want to be able to do anything. So I'll put a Ponyard down. I'll put another Ponyard down. We can use Spring Bloom. Okay. Boom. We can use Energy Search. Now, maybe I should save some bench space um, so that I could get a Bidoof down. But, um... Yeah. Okay. So let me just route. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually very thankful for this mill tank because it's letting us get completely set up because he hasn't been able to knock it out yet. Um, so that's pretty nice. That's that makes me happy because I think we would have been dead if we didn't have this thing. And now we're all we're pretty we're we're set up well enough. Um, well, we're still kind of in top deck mode at this point. Um, I wish we could have some room for a Bidoof so we get down our engine. Because right now we're only kind of running without an engine, um, which is hard. But he's going to boss. Um, he's going to bring up the Mana Fee, which I'm... That's probably the one thing I would like him to knock out. But he's not knocking it out, which is interesting. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Wow, that was a good boss on his part. Okay. Underworld door. Yeah, both of us are struggling just a little bit here at this point. Great ball. Ultra ball. <laughs> um, he's probably going to want to be grabbing a Suing Typhlosion V Star, I'm guessing. Um, he did, I think, discard an evolution instance, though. So if he wanted a V Star, he probably wouldn't have discarded that. <laughs> um, so he's grabbing Castellia, which is an interesting choice, I guess. Um, Okay, whatever you want to do, what are you? Whatever you want to do. Then he's going to professors. Out of curiosity. Okay, Underworld Door only attached to Psychic Pokemon. Okay. That was just, okay. just out of curiosity, you know. So, Shadow Rider Calyrex is actually going to be a lot better of a Psychic Engine once the new Lost Origin set comes out because there's a card, a tool that you can attach to VMAXs, which makes it so they cannot be bossed up on the bench, which means they can just, you can pretty much just leave it, let them sit on the bench the whole game and be engines. So it's going to make it so VMAXs can be more some utility cards. They are just heavy hitters because it used to be, I mean, you can't have a VMAX engine because it's just a three prize liability on your bench. Um... So, yeah, but now they can be actually reliable engines. So, Calyrex, Ice Rider, Shadow Rider, I mean, it's going to be seen in a lot more Psychic decks, probably. Okay, we get a Cape of Toughness. Love to see it. Um, but that's all we get, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's not good for us. We're not doing good. Fog Crystal. Both of us are kind of going slow, not doing great, but he does Marnie, which I'm very happy about. Thank you, my guy. And we do get E-Retrieval, and we do have two Grass Energy in the discard, which is nice for us. So I'm very happy about that, and now he will max guys to knock out our Mana Fee, um, which means, let me just do the math here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. So the eight damage counters and eight times three is so 270 damage, which I do not think is a knockout yet. So I'm gonna bring out the router. <laughs> I call it the router. That's funny. I don't know. Um, I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it is. So I'll use e retrieval. Um, get back those two. I'll use spring bloom to attach there and we'll attach it there again. Okay, so at this point, uh, I think we're doing, we have eight damage counters on them. Um, eight times three, as I already said, is going to be 240, um, which is 270, which is not quite enough to knock out the Calyrex yet. So, we'll just be going in using Route again, because <laughs> he can't really damage us. Underworld Door. And he's going to Marnie again, which I'm happy about. 
because this hand was also not the greatest. Um, and, I mean, that's pretty bad. <laughs> we do get another grass energy, though, which I'm happy about, because it can let us add a little bit of damage. Um, nice, thank you. Okay, we get an Evo. Um, and that's just about all we get. No, we do get a Marnie, I realized. Um, so yeah, we will use Marnie. <laughs> it's just constant Marnies from all of us. That's funny. <laughs> um, we get a Bidoof. That's great. Um, we'll attach Cape of Toughness there. Uh, we'll use a Bidoof. Um, we can... I mean, right now we're doing 140 with we use Route, so... With a Choice Belt, so it doesn't... We don't really need it. Um, so yeah, we can just use Route again. Yeah, the extra 30 damage would not have helped in the long run, um, because we can still knock him out next turn with Route, um, if he doesn't do something quick. But I'm guessing he's probably going to be using Giardicuno to KO this. Underworld door. No, he's not going to attach the Giardicuno. Interesting. I would think he would want to retreat in there so he can knock out our melting before I knock out his Shadow Rider. <laughs> But, uh, obviously that's not his plan. Yeah, so, uh, next turn, we'll probably try to knock him out with a mill tank, unless he knocks out my mill tank. In that case, I will bring up the Bisharp and KO his Shadow Rider. Um, either way, I think his Shadow Rider is getting KO'd, unless he retreats it out. Um, which is probably his best bet at this point, and I think he knows that. So, yeah, if he doesn't want to let me take three prizes. Nice. Thank you for the three prizes. Sweet! That's nice. Okay, steel energy, nice. Give us another they sharp trip down. There's quick ball, okay, and a poniard, nice. That's pretty good too. And he's gonna bring up the GR Kuno. Very wise decision on his part. I applaud him for it. And a training court, but I don't actually need Old Cemetery anymore. I have all my damage counters down, so that's good. Okay, there's Psychic Energy. Putting down a Cresselia. And he does get the energy to be able to Psy Laser. Um, yeah, okay. He'll either Psy Laser the Miltank or the Bisharp. Um, Miltank, he probably wants to. Um, just so we can make it so he can actually start doing damage to me. But he is going to do the Bisharp. Maybe the smarter decision, but we'll see if it pays out. Okay, there he goes. And we have Rescue Carrier, though, which is nice. Okay, my turn. Um, we get a Cynthia's Ambition. I love to see it. Okay, we can attach a, an energy there. Um, we can go ahead and use a training court. Um, actually, no, I don't want to. So, because that would, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, I want to thin my hand out. So, I'm going to discard that again. I probably didn't need to. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to thin the hand even more. So, we can Cynthia's Ambition for way too many cards. So we will see in these ambition now. Great! <laughs> oh, that's OP. I love that so much. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see how much energy we got in there. Okay, not much. All right, we can Evo Incense. Grab ourselves a barrel. Okay. Um, and I can just stick with using Route. It's not a knockout, but it's pretty darn close to it. So, yeah. yeah I think the best bet is just best choice right now. Just leave the mill tank out and let him deal with it, because he can't really deal with it. Um, he just has to attack with his one prizers, which ain't too much damage. Um, now, I think we did discard two of our brasses, which is sad, but it's fine. Um, okay. But, yeah, now I'm just going to sit and use route again. Keep con and use route. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think that we could probably win this. I'm guessing. He can't knock us out with Photon Laser. Um, which, yeah, will knock us out, obviously. But uh, then we have Ponyard to evolve into a Bisharp and bring up and win. Well, not win, but knock out his Cresselia. 
And yeah, we'll be able to do some damage. Here we go. Nice poniard. Okay, we have a bisharp. Um, yeah, I can spring bloom. You can attach there. Okay, um, I can. I suppose I can attach an energy there. Um, oh, I guess spring bloom. Yeah, it's not gonna let us do more damage at this point, which is sad. Yeah, should have thought about that. Um, we have two in there. So there's another one in the deck. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have attached this energy now. That I think about it. Whatever. We make mistakes. Um, but I can vengeful cut now. How much damage is that? Oh, 390. <laughs> yeah, that took P. So now he can use Max Geist. Yeah. But we do have another old cemetery, so yeah, and there'll be damage counter in there. And we can have a training court to get energy. So we win next turn, I'm pretty darn sure. Underworld Thor. Unless he, he might try to attack with the Cresselia. Either way, though, I think I win. He might not realize how much damage I'm about to do, so he might think it's a wiser decision to leave out the Color X. <laughs> um, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to knock him out next turn. Max Geist, KO. Okay. Alright, so. We can... Use e retrieval. Okay, we can use this. Okay, now we can use Spring Bloom to attach from there. We don't want to put too much damage on him, so that we knock him out. Um, oh wait, oh I forgot to put Old Cemetery play. Shoot, that's sad. Whatever. Um, yeah, should have put that in play a little bit sooner. Whatever, it's okay though. I can put this down. Um, now we can use evolve this there um and then we can fail these evos um let's see we have no more energy in there and no more ways to get energy um yeah, i was gonna try to industrious but i don't think vengeful cut will ko let me see let me see it's gonna do 80 i don't know if that's a knockout that is a knockout nice I didn't feel like doing math, but it paid off. We still won. <laughs> well, that is Vengeful Cut for you right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty strong deck, in my opinion, if I do say so myself. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, make sure you all like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Peace out.